Hello everyone! It's been four months that we didn't do a cooking vlog. So today is the day that I'll be showing you one of my recipe, the homemade pan pizza. This is requested by my son, so I have to do it. Pizza originated in Italy and is usually eaten either lunch or dinner or even snacks. And here in India, we usually have it during snacks time but this time as my son requested we will have to eat it in our dinner time so come and join me and watch how i cook the homemade pan pizza right after the intro I already prepared the pizza dough and here are the ingredients. One and a half cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon instant dried yeast, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon sugar, half cup of water, and oil to grease. Combine all the ingredients and knead the dough for 15 minutes. Set it aside and cover it with cling film like this. Let it rise. So now it's time for us to cut all the toppings of the pizza. So first, we will have we will cut the onion into diced like this, like so. It's just one medium size of onion. However, if you want to have more onion, you can use a large size. Let's cut the capsicum or the green bell pepper this is just one fourth of the capsicum so it's also cut into dice like this and let's put the onion and bell pepper in the plate and also we have to cut the sausages and then also the green olives and the black olives we have it here now let's cut the green and the black olives. I am cutting it like a slice like this or Julian cut the green black green olives so it will be different from the other ingredients or other top toppings and now I'm cutting the black olives like a circle one so it will have a variation of the cuttings like we did for the onion is diced as well as the capsicum so I'm doing a different cutting style of this black olive and the green olives you can also do a different cuttings as you like but however I want to have like this kind of cuttings for my olives and other uh, toppings for my pizza now this is the chicken that I marinated for 24 hours. This is just basically the tandoori chicken marination. So now let's try and fry it. We just put a little bit of oil in the hot pan and then you can start frying the chicken. Just place the chicken one by one in the hot pan. I used the boneless chicken so that it's easy for us to slice it in small pieces and place it, place it as a topping of our pizza. And now let's cover it and let it cook, slowly cook in a low flame so that it will not burn easily. Because this is actually, the, the chicken is already soft because of the 24 hours marination. Now while we're frying the chicken, we can also start grating the cheese at the moment i'm using the cheddar cheese it's supposed to be mozzarella cheese however i don't have it in my fridge so cheddar cheese is available so we can also use this so this is the grated cheddar cheese that i made and now let's start making my homemade pizza sauce also i'm using the tomato sauce or the tomato ketchup and then red chili sauce we have the rosemary, dried rosemary, and dried oregano. You can also use the olive oil, and you also need other ingredients like salt and sugar. 
Now let's start pouring this. This is just basically one and a half cup of tomato ketchup, the Heinz tomato ketchup, and then you can put the red chili sauce and then the oregano and the rosemary. Here, just a pinch of rosemary, a little bit. And then you stir it well to combine all the ingredients. Make sure it is well combined. Then we have to put one tablespoon of the olive oil and mix it, mix it again. Make sure all the ingredients are combined. And then you put the salt. This is just one four teaspoon of salt. And then and then the sugar also we have to put this is also red chili flakes and the sugar i'm sorry for that so this is all the ingredients for our homemade pizza sauce because actually pizza sauce is also available in the store however i'm using my own ingredients and that's it this is the mixture of my homemade pizza sauce and now let's go, let's check the pizza dough. Now it's already, it's ready. So let's again knead it for like five minutes so that we can flatten it. And you know, this is almost ready to make the pizza, the pizza dough itself. So I'm just kneading it and removing the air in the pizza dough. So it's like this and just keep on kneading it for like five minutes and then you can cut this into half and make it like a bowl I already cut this into half and then we need to use a rolling pin in order to flatten the dough itself so you can see there's still air and the dough just continue rolling it and flatten it just keep on flattening it until you form the circle shape as you desire. And then you force it with a fork, like so. And then this is ready to put it in the pan. So I already preheated my pan in the stove. And you have to put the dough, the pizza dough that we have made a while ago. It's still in a low flame. You don't need to put it in a high flame. Otherwise, the bottom of the dough will be burnt. Now, let us put my homemade pizza sauce on top of the pizza dough. And then, let's start putting the cheddar cheese on top. And then, all the toppings like the capsicum, the onions, then the olives, the black olive first, I'm placing the black olives and then the green olives and then I also fried the sausages that I sliced a while ago so you just keep on continuing and lastly the chicken that we, uh, the tandoori chicken uh, that we fried a while ago and then you just just put a little bit of water so that will have a steaming effect on the pizza and now look look at this it is already um, ready it's actually cooked already and now let's remove it from the pan and put let's put it in a plate because we will have to cut this pizza now let's do one more time because as what I've said I made that dough that I made is actually for two uh, medium sized pizza. So I the same toppings that I made and now this is the finished product. Let us cut it into four pieces like this. I'm using my pizza cutter into the chopping board. So this is like this. So this is our finished product. I hope you like this. This is basically simple homemade pizza with a homemade pizza sauce and the topping you can you do put a topping as you like but i use my tandoori my homemade tandoori chicken uh, as my topping 
When my son ate this pizza, he said that it's like the pizza that we are ordering from Domino's Pizza. So I'm recommending you to try these ingredients and your kids will definitely love it. All the ingredients are on the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to like and please do not forget to uh, subscribe in our channel. For those who are not yet subscribed in our channel, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified on our upcoming videos. And also please follow us in our social media account, in our Facebook and Instagram. God bless. Stay safe. Bye. Sorry, it's DJ.